everyone has different lives. And that's the thing. Some people are married. Some people have kids, you know, in their early 20s. Some people are doing this and doing that. But we, we fill our day with so much that we usually don't sit down and go to the park and, and just relax. Because we feel, we feel empty inside. And when we feel empty inside, we, we do things to fill that time because we don't like times by ourselves. Honestly, we don't like ourselves like we, like we should. We don't love ourselves like we should. And you can tell. I just think in our, our 20s, I think mental health is just so important, honestly. And, and it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be big. I mean, something small, you know, if it's something, a, flav a favorite flavor of ice cream, you know, that really just, you eat it and it just, your anxiety just calms you down. Or you read a good book, or you watch a good TV show, you know, listen to a good playlist, whether that's taking a long bath or going to the spa, things that are mundane, but those mundane things really add to you and help you stay grounded, right? As you maneuver throughout this world. I just feel like when we were in college, so you remember like years back when we were in college, right? Or back in high school, how everybody kind of romanticized the 20s, like, your 20s is gonna be fun, it's gonna be nonstop, it's gonna be this and this. And as I'm like halfway, or I just approach half, past halfway, I kind of think about that sentiment and I can't help but to think that we were naive because not saying that my 20s hasn't been great because it, it, it had, in retrospect, it has been great. I've done things that I've wanted to do. And so I'm, I'm very happy about those, those memories. I, I can't take those back. Those are forever with me. But as I look around, I just, I just can't help but to think that we were naive and thinking that our 20s were gonna be the best time of our lives. It's like the things that we did back then, like now they don't feel the same. Like you ever walk around and just feel lethargic for no reason? Like just just because. We just feel lethargic, right? And the thing about our 20s is that a lot of people in our 30s will tell you like life hasn't even started yet. And I feel like it hasn't. I don't know what's there for me for the next five years, next 10 years, I'm not sure. But like, what am I working towards? What's the end goal? I mean, I, I'm very non-traditional, so it's not it's not like I, you know, want to purchase a house or necessarily want to get married or anything like that. And I'm not really caring about material possessions just because, I mean, I have the money to upgrade my truck, but I don't care for it. I mean, I don't know. I I I try to. I be minimalistic, but like when I do make purchases, I try to make sure they're high quality purchases. But regardless, I just think in our twenties we feel like we need to slow down because we only get this we only get this chance once. Like think about it. Think about in elementary how you really didn't care. Like you know what I mean? Like you just knew everything was gonna be fine. You had that, that, that key and energy to where I know my parents gonna take care of it or, you know, even if you were not the richest or you were kind of poor, you still had an idea that, well, at least I'm not gonna be homeless. You know, like, you, you, you didn't have a care in the world because you knew everything was gonna be fine because you relied so much on your parents. And now, not saying that in your 20s you don't, but some people have to grow up in a sense and be independent since like 15 and nowadays I feel like we want that independence very badly 
but it's not until you get to like my age to where I reflect and I think, why was I such in that rush to grow up? Why was I, why was that such in a rush to grow up? Because quite frankly, like with inflation and everything, it's still, it's kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie, in the way of, you know, making sure that you are financially sound, you know, and taking care of yourself as far as like bills and rent and everything, but also like just enjoying yourself, you know, and doing things that actually better your mental health. You know, I, I, I think that's important. I just want to turn the camera on and just kind of reflect with you guys. Especially a lot of you guys are in your 20s or early 30s. And I just wonder like what's next? You might look at my life and see that I'm doing this, 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 and, and, and think that, you know, think that it's it's all peaches and cream or look, he's doing this, he's having fun. And, and I am having fun through life, I truly am. But I just wanna know like, why are you working so hard? That's my question for you today on Saturday, Saturday morning. What, what are you working so hard for? Because we see someone like Justin Bieber, who now has, you know, a condition to where it's like his face is kind of having like almost like a stroke in one side to where like he can't blink and can't really move it. And I'm pretty sure he'll get better, but that just goes to show you like even with that much money, millions and millions probably hundreds hundreds of millions of dollars like your body's gonna catch up to you at some point and tell you to slow down luckily he has the finances to be able to take care of things like that but some of us we don't so I just want to I just want to tell you to slow down because once you get past your 20s I feel like now your 30s like of course in your 20s you're an adult I'm an adult but we're still in our 20s, so we still have that stigma with us. But when we get to our 30s, it's like, you're an adult adult now. Like, you are completely, you know what I mean? It's like, yes, that threshold. Like, all right, now you're 30? Oh, okay. So now you're taking even that much more seriously. And it's just like the things that we used to do, which I was saying, just doesn't feel, I don't know. It's like certain things I just don't care about anymore. Like in college, I used to I used to go to parties every every weekend. I used to drink a lot and kind of drown myself with the anxiety I had. I just, I tried to even though I stayed in like the times that I would go out, you know, to the parties and stuff. My plan on was just trying to push away the problems that I dealt with throughout the week. And a lot of people do that, you know. Um, but it's just not fun anymore. I don't know, like. Going out to 3 a.m. and waking up hungover, like, I don't know, like, it's just not, I'm not saying I grew any of that because, like, maybe from time to time, if I just really feel like it, but it's certain things, it's kind of like, why was I so, like, why was I so big on this, you know, back in college? Why was this so, like, again, romanticized? I don't know. I just had these thoughts and I just want to share them with you guys because I, I feel like most of you have most of you have similar thoughts um, who follow this channel, who watch this channel. And so I just wanted to talk to you about it. It's It's been on my mind heavily as I maneuver out you know, to the rest of my 30s. What is that going to look like? It's not a fear thing. I, I don't fear what's going to happen next. I just... I guess I wonder what's gonna happen next. So I guess part of that is staying in the moment and just allowing the moment to unfold and just realizing that good or bad is very subjective. And that I choose to, I choose what is good and bad and I have control over my reality. And so even what I would consider bad, I still see the good in it, you know? And mastering my emotions basically is what it's really like as far as a life update that's really what i've been doing is taking care of my mental health i've been mastering my emotions um, through several books audiobooks and practical um, application and 
I can say without a doubt, it's it's been a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. I know we sometimes we just feel stuck in our twenties. We feel like we're behind. You know, I I'm not saying it's completely social media, but I I think because it's so rampant in this generation. It's important to realize that time is just does not exist. I, I, you might look at someone who's already married, who has kids, who has this, and feeling just feeling a little stuck. Like, man, like I wish, I wish I had those things, but do you? But do you really? Do you really think for a second? Do you really want those things that you? You say you want. You say you want to get married. You say you want to have husband, wife. You say you want to have kids by now. Is that really what you want? Or are you just like the idea of it? You know? Like just take time and contemplate. Not too hard, not to bring up any, you know, trauma, any bad memories, but just, just take some time today to enjoy nature. Drink some good tea or coffee. Go read a book today or an audio book. I want you to slow down today. I want you to reflect on your life and think about what are your intentions today? What do you want to accomplish and what do you can let go? Okay? Um, just stay in the moment, okay, for today. And all these imperfections, all of the, again, things that happen today, just know that you ain't in control. Okay, just know that you're in control.